I am here, Chan Chin Hien. I am a physician working with Ukru in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. The first uh, unit were, were established in Ho Chi Minh City in 1990, and 10 years later we have uh, a subunit in Hanoi. You know, most of the uh, disease in the, in the tropic is the infectious disease, something like malaria, dengue, hemorrhagic fever, uh, encephalitis, avian flu, or uh, Ebola in other countries, but not in Vietnam. Uh, in Vietnam, uh, 20 years ago, malaria is the top, with more than one million cases in home country. Uh, but now the uh, incident has uh, decreased. But the dengue hemorrhagic fever still with high incident, more than uh, 100,000 cases in home country. I think that to reduce the burden of disease in Vietnam, uh, we have uh, to strengthen the uh, healthcare network. Uh, because you know the if we have a good staff with skill, uh, physician, nurses, uh, or technician with uh, well equipped but with uh, equipment, uh, we can make uh, early diagnosis and treatment. And the in the infectious disease, the early diagnosis and treatment have reduced the mortality and the uh, morbidity. In infectious disease, I think uh, uh, blood control is a, a crucial. Uh, uh, testing in laboratory to make a confirm a diagnosis. But now we have uh, all the tools like the molecular, for example, PCR, uh, and uh, all the, the machine to make automatic uh, uh, blood control so we can improve the quality of diagnosis. Uh, last 10 years, uh, I think the, we uh, have uh, conducted uh, the most important study is the monitoring the uh, resistance of uh, Plasmodium falciparum, a, a parasite of the malaria, to the uh, most powerful and uh, uh, anti-malaria drug is the artemisinin and artemisinin combined therapy. Because you know that now that in the Southeast Asia, the treatment failure to that drug uh, artemisinin, I mean, the, the high yesterday is about 50 percent. That means uh, in two patients with malaria in Vietnam, you treat with the artemisinin, one fails. That means you, you cannot cure the patient. You have to find another combination or new drug to treat the patient. From the beginning, so you, you know that Vietnam is a, a uh, low and uh, uh, medium income country, so the, even in the healthcare, uh, despite the, of the loss of investment for the government, we still lacking of money. That means lacking of staff, lacking of equipment. So the investment have to improve the health through the uh, clinical research. Because the uh, the um, burden of infectious disease in in Vietnam still high with the uh, dengue hemorrhagic fever, with the uh, malaria, with the uh, hand foot mouth disease and all the viral infection. So we have uh, to invest the money to improve the good diagnosis and management. Yet I think from the beginning the, um, we conduct study to test the, what the new in the laboratory uh, to apply to the Clinic, uh, in clinical trial and then apply to community. That means, you know, three steps of uh, translational medicine is the uh, bench side, bed side, and then community. And we do three own of the step for, uh, to, to fit into the translational medicine policy of the department.